What is a parallelogram? And are all of them rectangles? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, it's all about parallelograms today. But if you haven't seen the videos natin on the circle, triangle, rectangle, at iba pang mga kasi ng shapes, click right here on the i button if you're watching on YouTube so you can catch up or you can find the links na lang sa description box sa video na ito. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through buying our merch. You can go and visit shop.teamlaika.com to find out how you can get your hoodies, shirts, mugs, and everything else I designed for this team. Marami salamat sa mga kumuha na sa mga hindi pa. Marami salamat din. Uh, again, this is us helping each other so I can keep helping more people through making all this free content. So marami salamat sa inyong lahat. And now that we have that out of the way, going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung ating video on the area and perimeter of parallelograms. And pag-uusapan rin natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng parallelograms. Okay? Now, ang definition niya is that it is a flat shape, so two-dimensional image, with four straight sides with opposite sides that are congruent and parallel. Now, para mas maintindihan natin ito, Ano ba ibig sabihin ng congruent at saka ng parallel? Now, yung congruent, it means that they are of the same size. So, ibig sabihin, again, we're talking about opposite sides. Ha? So, yung opposite sides niya are of the same size and parallel. Okay. Now, ano yung parallel naman? Ang parallel means that they're made up of lines that will never intersect. Now, para mas makita natin ito ng maigi, let's start with a sample. Now, tingnan natin itong mga shapes na ito. First, we have this. Now, at first glance, medyo familiar sa atin ito. When we started kindergarten, isa sa mga unang tinuro ito, this is a square. Now, ang definition of square is that it's made out of four sides, no? And of course, they are straight. So, we have one, two, three, four. Tapos, yung opposite sides ba niya? Congruent and parallel. Now, let's take yung first two sides na ito. You have this side right here and this side. Okay. Straight ba sila? Yes. Congruent ba sila or same size ba sila? The answer to that is yes, right? So, kung ano yung measurement nito, siya rin measurement niyan. Parallel ba sila? Now, if you look here, this line, kahit ituloy-tuloy mo siya, tuloy-tuloy mo siya dyan, hindi sila mag-i-intersect. Okay? So, these are, of course, parallel din. Now, yung next pair, kasi check ka na sa pair 1. Eh. Pair 1 is congruent and parallel. Pair 2, you have this, kasi, and yung opposite side niya, which is this. Okay, sorry sa akin, medyo balik ko na line. Pero ba kung ano yung measurement niyan, pareho rin ito. So, they are also congruent. Now, are they parallel? Yes, ba Parallel din sila. So, ibig sabihin nun, check din tayo sa pair number 2. Now, the next question would be, okay lang ba na kahit na pare-pareho sila ng measurement? Kasi ba ang square nga, pare-pareho sila ng size. Now, the answer to that is still a yes. So, is a square a parallelogram? The answer is yes. It is a parallelogram. Now, another shape you're probably familiar with would be the rectangle. Now, ang rectangle ba ay parallelogram? Checklist tayo. Four ba ang kanyang straight sides? You have one, two, three, four. So, yes. Next, yung opposite sides ba? Congruent and parallel. Now, titinan uli natin. This side right here and this side right here. Di ba pareho sila ng measurement nito? So, they are congruent. Are they parallel? Yes, they're also parallel. So, check tayo sa pair number one. Now, next, next pair tayo. You have this side right here. This side right here. Now, Sila ba ay congruent? Same size ba sila? Yes. Now, iba man sila nung measurement nung side na ito, okay lang kasi pareho pa rin sila. Sila lang naman ang kailangan na pareho ang measurement. Kasi again, opposite sides that are congruent and parallel. Ito kasi yung opposite niya nito. Okay? So, dahil congruent sila, parallel din sila, check tayo sa pair number 2. 
which means a rectangle is a parallelogram. Now, let's take another example. This one right here, di ba, iba-iba yung tawag din sa kanya. Minsan, itawag din siyang kite or diamond. Pero, this is a classic example of a rhombus. Now, hindi man exact yung pagkaka-portray ko dito. Pero, ang definition ng rhombus is that, ganyan siya, meron ding opposite sides, made up of four sides din siya. So, pasok tayo doon. One, two, three, four. Tapos, pare-pareho rin sila ng measurement. So, ibig sabihin nun, this side right here, and this side right here, pareho sila ng measurement. This side right here, and this side right here, pareho rin nung dalawang iba pa. Now, the next question would be, alam na natin congruent sila, pero parallel ba sila? Now, this line, kung didiretsoy natin, again, wala silang intersection. Ito rin, wala rin silang intersection. So, pasok rin siya dun sa congruent and parallel. So, a rhombus is also a parallelogram. Okay? So again, maraming mga klase pa ng shapes na can be uh, defined as parallelograms. Pareho ng, para, parallelogram din sila. Now, let's look at another, at another example. This right here is what we usually see, or ito yung lagi natin naisip pag sinabing parallelogram. Ito yung classic na parallelogram, no? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Itong side na ito ay kapareho ng measurement ng side na ito. So basically, para siyang rectangle, pero nakatilt yung dalawang sides. Ito rin, pareho rin siya ng measurement nito. Right? And of course, they're made up of lines na parallel dun sa opposite niya. So ang parallelogram definitely is a parallelogram. Ang sinasabi ko lang is, again, a square is also a parallelogram. A rectangle is also a parallelogram. A rhombus is also a Parallelogram. Now, here's another shape, shape that you may be familiar with. We call this a trapezoid. Now, my question would be, ang trapezoid ba parallelogram? Now, kung iisipin natin, tingnan natin yung, yung criteria natin, meron ba siyang four straight sides? O, straight naman siya, pero are the opposite sides congruent and parallel? Now, kung titignan nyo, itong side na ito at side na ito, visually naman, hindi sila magkapareho ng measurement. So, ibig sabihin kung ito ay ganyan, this is a different measurement. So, hindi na siya congruent. Okay? Now, kahit yung kabilang side, ganun din. No? Hindi rin sila necessarily pantay. Pwedeng hindi. At kahit pantay sila, you would see, hindi, sa, hindi siya magmamatch dun sa second na criteria which is parallel dapat. Kasi kung titinan natin itong lines na ito at i-extend natin sila at, at a certain point, Diba? Magmi-meet sila. So, these are not parallel lines. So, a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Okay? Now, I had to explain this to you guys kasi makikita ninyo yung similarities pagdating sa formula. Now, we did have a series on area and perimeter of shapes. We already discussed yung square, rectangle, and uh, circle, triangle. Now, yung iba sa inyo, nung napanood nyo yung C, sabi niyo nasan yung parallelogram, nasan yung rhombus, nasan yung trapezoid? Well, dito na natin siya sisimulan. The reason why I didn't put it there is, kung mapapansin niyo yung formula ng square, rectangle, at parallelogram ay halos magkakahawig din. Pare-pareho lang. Iba lang yung tawag. Tingnan nyo, ha? 4S, S squared. This is basically, lahat ng sides, ang, peri- ang perimeter kasi, di ba, is yung bakod sa paligid ng shape. I-add mo lang lahat. Ang rectangle, ganun dun. I-add mo rin lahat sila. Kaya lang dahil yung length ay magkapareho at yung width ay magkapareho, you can write it like this. Now, ang parallelogram, ganito yung pagkakasulat ng formula ng perimeter niya. But do I have to memorize it? na kung titingnan ninyo, again, kasi para lang siyang rectangle na tinilt ko, no? Or tinula ko yung ibabaw na part, kaya siya nag-tilt. Magkahawig din yung formula nito. Kasi this can also be written as 2 times L plus W. Na kung mapapansin nyo, magkahawig na magkahawig na talaga siya. Sa area naman, this is just one side multiplied by the other side. So, length times the width. At sa parallelogram, ganun din. Base times height. Now, saan na natin kukunin yung height? I-explain ko later. At bakit iba siya kesa dun sa rectangle. But hindi na lang tawaging length at saka width yan. Kasi iba yung angulo niya. Now, tingnan natin tong shape na to ha. Ang gagawin natin, kung hahanapin natin yung perimeter, gagawin lang natin yung formula na 2 times the quantity A plus B. 
Now, ano itong A plus B na yan? We can take one of the sides as A. Pwede ito. Tapos ito naman yung ating gagawing B. Okay? Yung 10. So, kung isa-substitute lang natin siya sa formula, this will be 2 times the quantity. Tapos, A is 14. So, 14 plus B, which is 10. So, this is 2 times 24 or 48 units. Okay? Now, yung units na yan, again, depende na sa problem. Kung centimeter ba yan, meter ba yan, inch ba yan. Tingnan nyo na lang kung may provided. Kung wala, it's just 48 units. Now, paano naman yung kanyang area? Now, let me introduce this to you. Pag sinabi natin na meron tayong height, it's actually this right here. Kasi ang formula na base times height is not 14 times 10, which is yung ginagawa natin sa rectangle. This is the, this is the part na medyo kailangan natin maging mas imaginative. Kasi ang height is this right here, kapag nakatayo siya. Kapag nag-draw tayo ng line na perpendicular doon sa kanyang base. Now, I want you to imagine this muna ha. Kung gugupitin ko ito, at dahil parallel siya dito, ay ililipat ko ito dito. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nun? Let me show you ha. Kung yung part na yon ginupit ko at kinabit ko dito, if you notice, it will also form a rectangle. Pero this time, ito na yung rectangle natin. See? So that is the reason why hindi mo gagamitin yung 10. Kasi ito yung 10 na yung diagonal na yan. Ang gagamitin mo is yung height niya, which is 8. Now, kapag sa problem provided yung height, madali lang yan, it's just 8. Okay? Now, isa-substitute lang natin siya. Again, ang base now becomes still 14 pa rin. Bakit hindi nagbago? Kasi again, itong part na to, kung nilipat ko itong doon, pareho lang yon 14 pa rin yan. So, this will be equal to 14 times the height, which again is not 10 ha. It has to be 8, itong nakatayong part na to. So, multiply ko lang siya dyan, times 8. Now, 14 times 8 is 112 units squared or square units. Again, kung siya ay uh, in, uh, centimeter square, centimeter siya. Kung meter siya, square meters siya. Okay? Kapag area, it's units square. Okay? So, again, anong, anong mga problem points dito? Bakit nagkakamali yung iba? Again, nagkakamali minsan sa grouping, nagkakamali minsan sa pag-spot kung alin ang height versus yung isang side niya. So, yun mga bagay na yun ang kailangan pag-ingatan. Now, for you to gauge kung naintindihan nyo talaga yung lesson, we're going to jump into a quick quiz. All you're going to have to do is to solve kung ano yung uh, perimeter at area nitong parallelogram that I will give you. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, isasolve lang natin. Ang perimeter is 2 times the quantity A and B. Again, kung isaspot natin yan, we can call this A, we can call this B. Okay? So, isasubstitute lang natin. You have 2 times 12 plus, uh, times the quantity 12 plus 8 is equal to 2 times, ang 12 plus 8 is 20. We're just using uh, yung ating order of operations. This is 20. 2 times 20 is 40. Okay? Now, doon na doon tayo sa area which is base times height. So, ang base natin is also 12. Ito rin siya. Okay? So, we're just going to put 12 here. Tapos, ang height naman, again, is not 8. It's yung perpendicular doon sa line sa baba. So, this is 6. So, 12 times 6. Now, 12 times 6 is just 60 plus another 12. That is 72 units squared. Okay? So, again, square units to. 
Ito ay just units. Kung ito ay centimeter, centimeter yon, Ito centimeter squared. Okay? Now, I'm I'm hoping na kuha nyo yun uh, perfectly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like a Maravilla on Instagram. We post the quick quiz questions sa aking Instagram stories. And if you want the throwback quick quiz questions, you can follow me naman sa at Team Laika on Instagram. Doon na natin post yung mga updates and mga important announcements. And if you are on TikTok, you can also follow me at Team Laika on TikTok for the educational videos, math, English, and uh, other techniques. And uh, kung gusto nyo to get to know me a little bit better, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla naman on TikTok for my personal videos, mga day in the life, mini vlogs, at iba pa. Alright, I'll see you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and anong mag-exam din sila. That way, masalami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. Subscribe na if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming and I would hate for you to miss those. And as you always see sa channel na to, never stop learning. And adja adja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. Alright, thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you want one more lesson right here, click nyo lang yan. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, my second channel, yung vlogging channel, is right here. So you can see the behind-the-scenes footage at marami pang iba. I'll see you there.